today on MTG Unpacked, it's Kamigawa Neon Dynasty pre-release weekend, February 11th, 2022. We're getting stuck into two pre-release packs today. So really looking forward to this set. So this is uh, one with a cyberpunk theme and also a heavily influenced Japanese flavor. So let's check it out. And I will be uh, popping up some pre-release codes throughout the video. Uh, those are one-time use only. So if you manage to snag one, leave a note in the comments. Okay, so let's get into it. So these are in the usual fashion. We've got our spin down dice. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Where's the symbol? Looks like some mountains there. Sun rising over the mountains. Let's roll a lucky seven. Five is not going to cut it. All right, and here are some tips about how to build a pre-release deck. So they pretty much include that in every one of these. This is this way around. Kaito Shizuki. I believe that's a ninja in the set. And we've spoiled our uh, promo here. Let's just pop that out of the way. We'll take a look at that later. Okay, draft boosters. Six packs. Let's see what we get. Okay, starting off with Eco... Ecologus Terrarium. Nice little bonsai there. Wanderer's Intervention. Unstoppable Ogre. Debt to the Kami. Master's Rebuke. Short Circuit. Nozumi. Blade Blesser. Yes, there are Rat Samurai in this set. Awesome. Heir of the Ancient Fang. Tamio's Completion. No, no, Tamio. We've got Mashiko's Reign of Truth. And this is one of these sagas, flips around into Portrait of Michiko. We've got Asari Captain, Orochi Merge Keeper, and the rare. Oh, no, no rare. Okay, so we've got an extra uncommon, that's different. Essence Capture, and the rare is Tameshi Reality Architect. All right, I don't think that one flips around, does it? Nope. And one of these awesome lands, so this is the mountain. Excellent, we'll showcase those at the top. And a spirit token. Okay, on to the next. Are you participating in pre-release this weekend? Got any ideas for what sort of deck you want to build? I know it really depends on what you get in your box, but sometimes you have an inkling of what you'd like to do. Next up we've got Shrine Steward. Scrapyard Steelbreaker, Chain Flail Centipede, Season of Renewal, Planar Incision, Regent's Authority, Moon Circuit Hacker. Okay, so this is the new showcase artwork, very schnazzy. Peerless Samurai, The Modern Age, so this is the saga here. We've got Vector Glider, Blossom Prancer for the Uncommons, Runaway Trashbot. Walking Skyscraper and March of Burgeoning Life is the rare, along with a foil rare, nice, Mukatai Soul Ripper. So that is actually a vehicle, believe it or not. And a Plains and Samurai Token. Awesome. Okay, so we do get regular lands here as well. I wasn't sure about that, but I guess you can also get the uh, extra fancy ones as well. Next up we've got Dramatis Puppet, Brute Suit, that's fun, Bamboo Grove Archer, Network Disruptor, Spirited Companion, Kindled Fury, Reckoner Shakedown, Mukatai Ambusher. Okay, so a Rat Ninja, I'm going to have to build a deck around these guys, I think. Iron Hoof 4, The Long Reach of Night. So do we get a Saga in every pack? I'm curious about that. We've got Animus of Night's Reach, Bronze Plate Boar, Hotshot Mechanic, and Web Spinner Cuff. Okay, so what is this? Four Uncommons again, and Cloud Steel Kirin is the rare, along with a Blossoming Sands and a Blank Card. I bet those will troll us when we come to the set boosters. Okay, so three more packs. Nothing really 
standing out right now. So let's see what we get in the next one. Ecologist Terrarium. Suit up. Lucky Offering. Scrapyard Steelbreaker. Chain Flail Centipede. Season of Renewal. Heir of the Ancient Fang. Tamu's Completion. Mashiko's Reign of Truth. I think we saw that one earlier, so we'll skip over that. Jukai Naturalist. Invigorating Hot Spring. It looks like we've got a monkey there. Bathing. Mech Hanger. And the rare. Oh! Ding, 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 ding. Bo Siju who endures. This is pretty awesome. So I'm going to sleeve that up. A foil Uncharted Haven. And a Windscarred Crag. And blank card again. Okay, where are my sleeves? Okay, grabbing a sleeve here. That is an awesome pull. I'm not actually popping up any prices because they're all over the place, but this is definitely one of the big hits. We'll put that up the top there. Two more packs. So this is a pretty nice pre-release. I think that green would push me to try to build something in green if I could, just to try out that card. Okay, we have Network Terminal Spirited Companion. Kindled Fury Reckon is Shakedown, Fade into Antiquity, Arm Guard Familiar, Moon Circuit Hacker, Peerless Samurai, Nozumi Blade Blesser, yes, the rats again, Tales of Master Shashiro, let's see what's on the other side here, Shashiro's Living Legacy, Malicious Malfunction, Goshintai of Shared Purpose, okay, so Shrines are back, Banishing Slash, and, oh, a mythic! Jugan defends the Temple Enchantment Saga. Welcome. Flipping around here into Remnant of the Rising Star. I think that's sleeve worthy as well. One of these very nice lands. Okay, so a different variant of the mountain. And a Dragon Spirit token. Okay, grabbing the sleeves yet again. So I think this, I would be very happy if I was uh, building a deck around that. Again, this would be pushing me to green. Okay, one more pack left. And then we'll take a look at the uh, promo and other goodies there. I think there's a couple of cards there. Not sure what else they have in that. We've got Brute Suit. Imperial Oath. Simeon Sling reminds me of Ragavan, but probably a lot cheaper. Return to Action. Whoops, skipping over. Harmonious Emergence. Moonfolk Puzzle Maker. Mokut Mukutai Ambusher. Iron Hoof Boar. The Long Reach of Night. We saw that one earlier. Mobilizer Mech. Generous Visitor. Containment Construct. And the Rare. This is fun. Tatsunari Toad Rider. Alright, pop that down there. A foil showcase Fang of Shigeki with Death Touch. Just a single sided card there. Uh, where are my foils? I think I'm putting them over here. Rugged Highlands and a very cool Spirit Token. Alright, so let's see what we got here. So we've got an Eater of Virtue foil. Very nice. So 2022 promo stamp there. And a blank card and another blank card. Okay, so in case you get double-sided things during the pre-release. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of the way and move on to the second box. Awesomeness. So again, a bunch of stuff. What colour spin down? Oh, we got a different one this time. So let's check that out. Where's our uh, top here with the logo? Rolling a lucky seven again. 14 drat. All right, we'll put the promo down here. And another six packs. Let's hope we can do even better this time round. And speaking of secret lairs, we're going to have a ton of those. I've got a bunch that arrived all at once. So we'll be looking at those in the next couple of days. We've got Grafted Growth, Brute Suit, Moonfolk Puzzle Maker, Light the Way, Experimental Synthesizer, Undercity Scrounger, Careful Cultivation, Iron Hoof Boar, Dokuchi Shadow Walker, 
Tales of Master Shishiro, we saw that earlier. Mobilize a Mac for the Uncommons. Dockside Chef, I like the artwork on that one. Tawashi Guidebot. And Eater of Virtue. Okay, so another one of those. Windscarred Crag and Samurai Token. Let's see what we can do in this next one. Have you managed to pull any Mythics out of this set? What did you get? Did you get one of the Planeswalkers? That would be cool. We've got an Iron Apprentice, Grafted Growth, Mirror Shell Crab, Golden Tail Disciple, Aki Ember Keeper, Goblin Warrior. Yes, Goblins are back. I really missed them in Innistrad. Depth to the Kani, Geothermal Kami, Coiling Stalker, Gift of Wrath. That card felt thicker than normal. Interesting. Long Reach of Night. Saw that one earlier. Imperial Recovery Unit. Selfless Samurai and Gushintai of Lost Wisdom. Okay, it's throwing me off a bit here. And Light Paws Emperor's Voice. Fox Advisor and a Forest and Rat Rogue Token. That is awesomeness. Okay, on to the next. So you could probably do a Fox Tribal as well. I see there are turtles in this set, so maybe do a Ninja Turtle type thing. Are there actually any Ninja Turtles in here? Not sure. We've got Ecologist Terrarium, Arm Guard Familiar, Dragonfly Suit, Aki Ember Keeper, Goblin. You are already dead. This one's fun. He's like slicing him and he doesn't even realize yet. Tamio's Safekeeping. Oh dear, that's the before picture. Very sad story. Moon Snare Specialist. Aki Ronin, Goblin Samurai, Seven Tail Mentor, Showcase, very nice. Era of Enlightenment, Enchantment Saga. On the other side we have Hand of Enlightenment. And Upriser Renegade, nice showcase there. Enormous Energy Blade, it's like a takeoff of anime stuff. Gloom Shrieker. And Soul Transfer is the rare. We've also got an amazing land. Look at this. Forest. Fantastic. And a Spirit Token. So halfway through the second pre-release. Hope we can get something very spicy in the close here. Automated Artificer. Mnemonic Sphere. Reckoner Shakedown. Kindled Fury. Fade into Antiquity. Arm Guard Familiar. Uh, Ganjo Exemplar, Kami of Restless Shadows, Behold the Unspeakable, and I think on the other side, what do we get here? Vision of the Unspeakable, and we spoke about it. Uh oh, Go Shintai of Ancient Wars, Prodigy's Prototype, Leech Gauntlet, Equipment Leech, okay then, and Kami of Transients is the rare, very colorful artwork on that one. A Foil Peerless Samurai and Blossoming Sands with a blank card. So that's one thing I'm really liking, the vibrant colour and bright artwork on this set. Looks incredible. It was pretty dingy in Innistrad, so now we've brightened up a good deal. We've got Shrine Steward, Futurist Sentinel, Wanderer's Intervention, Unstoppable Ogre, Clawing Torment. Master's Rebuke, Jukai Trainee, Voltage Surge, Twisted Embrace, Befriending the Moths. Okay, what happens when you befriend the moths? We've got the Imperial Moth, okay. Spinning Wheel Kick, Thirst for Knowledge, Dokuchi Silencer, and a Mythic. Yes, Ayo the Dawn Sky, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sleeving it up in a second. Rugged Highlands and a Construct Token. Yes, so one Mythic per. That is unusual. I uh, usually get zero Mythics, so pretty cool. One more pack and then we'll take a look at the promo pack. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell when you're notified as soon as new videos are released. Final pack Magic. We have Papercraft Decoy. Undercity Scranger, Bamboo Grove Archer, Mnemonic Sphere, Kitsune Ace, Kami of Industry, Moon Circuit Hacker, Peerless Samurai, Jukai Preserver, Befriending the Moths, and Twin Shot Sniper. 
Goblin Archer. Awesome. Enthusiastic Mechanor, a Goblin Artificer. Reinforced Ronan. And finishing off here with March of Reckless Joy. Along with a Tranquil Cove and Kaito Shizuki Emblem. Okay, so let's take a look at our uh, pre-release card. And stay tuned. We will have an absolute ton of Kamigawa openings in the coming weeks. Stay tuned. Link in the corner to the complete Kamigawa playlist. Oh! Ding, 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 ding. Foil Kaito Shizuki. Awesome to see it. We'll sleeve that up later. And we get a blank card. A couple of those. And of course, you're waiting for this. So if you got it, leave a note in the comments. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.